This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Mapson. Experts worry. It's not only people that can travel great distances at great speeds, but viruses might also. There are lots of examples of diseases, rainforest diseases, becoming major public health problems in the rest of the world. Ebola has emerged as one of the most deadly of these rainforest diseases. It attacks the organs and causes massive bleeding. Up to 90% of people infected with the virus die. Then, it's discovered in the Congo that the Ebola virus is not only killing humans, but gorillas as well. Primatologist Magna Bermejo has been studying a substantial population of gorillas in the Congo for years. But when she returns to her study site after a break, she finds many of them dead. For me, to study Western Longland gorillas in the forest gives me the opportunity to learn about the behavior of these animals. And it's very important because it's very little known about Western Longland gorillas. Magda believes that the gorillas in her study group are dying of Ebola, the same deadly virus that spread to the local human population. It's not surprising that the virus should affect us and the gorillas in the same way. Genetically, we are almost identical. Before the outbreak, Magda had finally pulled off the unprecedented feat of habituating this group of gorillas to humans. She could approach close enough to gather groundbreaking observations on their behavior. But now the population has been decimated. In total was 139. For the moment, I think that in the study area, we can think about perhaps uh, 20. The team hopes that by studying the outbreak in the ape population, they'll better understand Ebola, perhaps even discover a way to prevent it from spreading to humans. Billy Koresh is a vet with the Wildlife Conservation Society. He's looking for gorillas who have contracted Ebola and survived. That could mean some gorillas are immune to the virus. We know the virus kills humans and it kills gorillas and it kills chimpanzees. We think it's killing some other species like the small antelope. And what we don't know is where this virus lives when it's not killing. The simultaneous outbreak among gorillas and humans also gives Billy a chance to investigate how Ebola moves out of the jungle to infect people. To get answers about Ebola, he has to get up close to the animals, even if they may be harboring the disease. At first, he tries to tranquilize an infected gorilla to take blood samples. He pushes through the dense jungle, trying to get a clean shot, but the animals remain hidden. Once there were many gorillas in this area, and they were used to the presence of human researchers. Now there are only a few left and they're wary. We got really close, but it's just so thick in there. It's too charged a few times, we couldn't see them. Abandoning plans to test a live animal, Billy and his team investigate the carcass of a dead one. Tissue samples confirm what they fear most. The animal died of Ebola. It's a disaster for the gorillas, and potentially for humans as well. The virus could spread into nearby villages, which is what happened several years earlier. Gorillas began dying of Ebola. And then months later, it started claiming human lives. The outbreak killed 128 men, women, and children. All the deaths were tracked back to one initial case. A local villager had butchered a gorilla for meat. 
the animal had Ebola. Its blood was full of virus, and somehow the virus entered the villager's body. Ebola had found its escape route from the jungle. Next time, could it spread further? The capital Brazzaville has a population of more than a million people and a thriving market for bush meat. And from this major African city, the virus could spread throughout the world. You know, the battle against infectious diseases is like a guerrilla warfare. It's endless. We will never defeat all the microbes on this planet. It will be a continuous war for the next millennia. Further study of Ebola-stricken gorillas may yet provide vital clues a way to possibly protect these stricken animals and to avert a potential global outbreak of a deadly disease. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.